An amazing celestial show taking place tonight. Venus is going to pass in front yes. of the sun. Pretty yes. cool stuff. Uh, Chad, you can explain how this works and whether or not we're going to be able to see it. And, and this is in our lifetime, right? Because after this, this the next it. time is a this little is bit way down need, road, We're going right? to need some really good medicine to see the next one. That's 100. How many years away? <laughs> 2,117 will be the year that it happens again. It will be like and 150. Yeah. I'll be older than you. Still, uh, <laughs> well, you're trying to catch me. Uh, it is a small little disc that's going to pass in front of the sun. It will be a silhouette of Venus that passes in front of the sun. The only problem is this thing is only going to be about a thousand times smaller than the sun. So here's the disc you're going to see. And if you think about it, you could put a thousand other discs that size inside the sun. So it isn't going to be worth trying to look at with really the naked eye. Honestly, you're going to have to have some place. The, the best place, I believe, to look, watch this whole thing is going to be on television. NASA will be covering it. NASA, it'll, be, it'll be streamed live. It's a great event simply because of the way three-dimensionality lines up. You have to think all these planets are going all different directions, and then all of a sudden, one of the planets gets in the way. Now, it's so much smaller than the, than the, the moon compared to the sun because the moon is so much closer, and when the moon makes its eclipse, it almost takes the entire sun and blocks it out. Don't look at this without the proper eye protection, and that does not mean a couple pair of sunglasses. Not going to be able to see it here in Africa or South America, but every place else in the world on the globe, you'll be able to see that. It's kind of cool because a lot of times when you get to these uh, solar